Understanding the tone of what people are saying about you, your product or your company is useful in many ways. Whether that is through product reviews, email feedback straight to your mailbox or social media channels, there are many different ways people can discuss you and your brand. Direct or indirect, being aware of the tone and perception the public has of you is one of the most important factors for success in business. And this is where sentiment analysis comes into play. In this bite-sized video, we discuss what is meant by sentiment analysis, why it is useful to companies and organizations of any size, and how it can be implemented. Sentiment analysis is a method that helps you analyze and understand the tone of text. To put it another way, it is a method of analyzing the emotions of a particular text, such as social media posts. This can help you discover insights such as what the brand image of your company really looks like. For example, you could use sentiment analysis to analyze tweets about your brand and classify them into categories such as positive, negative or neutral. Or if you wanted to go even further, you can use classifications such as happy, sad, worry or disappointed. You can even use sentiment analysis to detect and classify the urgency of text. Your app has crashed and I can't access my work. I need help ASAP. By analyzing the sentiment of a piece of data, in this case text, you can reveal the emotions behind the text and decide what you want to do with that information. User experience, survey replies and product evaluations are all frequent applications of sentiment analysis. So how does sentiment analysis work? Sentiment analysis translates the language people use with a combination of natural language processing and machine learning to produce key insights automatically. By using NLP and machine learning, words and phrases used can be accurately analyzed based on things like the context and order of the phrase. We won't get into the topics in this video, but if you would like to know more about NLP or machine learning, check out the related links in the description box of this video. Getting back to sentiment analysis, an easy example would be I love this brand, which is obviously positive. However, there are more complex scenarios such as this tweet. Your company is killing it. The word killing on its own has negative connotations, but in this context it's probably a positive tweet. Because even humans often miss the real sentiment behind text, such as sarcasm or irony, sentiment analysis faces many challenges. But as time goes on, AI models are becoming better and better at correctly analyzing the sentiment behind text. Sentiment analysis can be carried out in many ways, and one of those ways is by using tools which simplify the process. Levity, for example, has AI blog templates capable of sentiment analysis ready for you to use with input data of your choice. If you would like to find out more about this, check out our use cases like this one on screen. As always, you can find links in the description to more resources on the topics we discussed in this video, as well as other educational pieces we think are relevant. Now that you're here, I wanted to tell you about Levity. Levity is a tool that allows you to train AI models on images, documents and text data. You can rebuild manual workflows and connect everything to your existing systems without writing a single line of code. If you liked this video, you'll probably love Levity and we can't wait to hear from you.